Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at House Flipper by Empyrean, I think is how it's pronounced, and I am told by my Twitch audience that apparently this is based on a, a, a similar kind of TV show format in America, I don't know if there's anything like that in the UK, I haven't watched TV in years, especially daytime TV, but the gist of it is, well, the... The process of house flipping is buying a rundown house that's for sale, doing it up real nice, you know, making it more modern, painting it, knocking through walls, etc. All that stuff, and then selling it at a big profit. That's what house flipping is, as I understand it. The game House Flipper, though, is kind of broken into two individual parts where you, well, they describe it as you playing as a one-man renovating crew. You do everything. You do the painting, plastering, installation of equipment, you know, anything you can think of, really. And you can choose to do it in terms of like building up your own house and then house flipping it or you can take on quests and do it for other people kind of do up their house for them then they obviously go on and sell it for profit so you can do both parts you can do one or the other once you have enough to buy your first house you don't need to do the questing anymore after that i've been playing this for a ridiculous amount of time i've been playing this for seven hours and i've only been playing it for three days i think it does help that i played it on stream a couple of times and my stream actually was, were totally into it. And just to kind of bury the leads, my general impressions of House Flipper are that it's very good. I, I like it a lot. And it falls into those games that you can ironically like, although I choose to unironically, just I just like them. Games similar to Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, where you can just kind of, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say like veg out, but you know what I mean? You just kind of, it's just, it's busy work, but it's, it's done in a presentable, entertaining way and it's just a nice distraction anyway this is the shack you start with although i have done it up a bit more put on a fresh coat of paint i've done up the bathroom using the skills the the basic first few quests you do teach you like here's how you paint here's how you install new equipment here's how you do tiling here's how you do plastering and all that stuff i you do have the option of like buying a house and moving in after you renovate it you don't have to stay in the shack but I just I, I like the idea because this is like my version of willie's shack so that's kind of like why I'm still running with it. I've flipped two houses of my own, but I've mostly spent time taking on jobs for other people and doing those. I kind of like having the direction, because when you do have your own house, it's your own playground. You can do whatever you like to it. But I... Oh, so there's a truck outside, so I'm going to close my window again. I'm going to sweat buckets for you lot because it's way too hot. But at least it won't be noisy and the dog won't bark. So I think if I go to house browser, I can show you the last two sales, sales I made, rather. Yeah, so I've bought two houses. They're both... Almost the exact same price, 51,000. I sold both of them for about 30 grand profit each, and I'm sitting on 161 grand now. And we own Willy Shack, of course. So there are a bunch of houses for sale, and I didn't realise it, but the game actually comes with free DLC bundled in. I don't think you have to download it separately because I don't recall doing it, but it's called the Apocalypse Flippers DLC. It adds wartime bunkers, it adds a few new people who could potentially buy your houses that have very, very particular needs that we'll talk about more in a second. But yeah, you can go all the way up to like a 280 grand house. Two-story houses are rare in this game. You don't start seeing them till here. And then there's this pink kingdom. I just want to look at... Oh, Jesus, look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful, I tell you. Why would you. Why would you buy that and do anything to it? It's fine as it is. But yeah, that's the idea of the house flipping side. What we're going to do for the purposes of the video is I'll take on a, a job, a personal job, and see what we can do with it. So we've got our mail here. I've got four quests saying. I don't know if these eventually run out, but as you can see, I've done most of them. A few of them I did not fully do because I just could not find like some leftover dirt and stuff. You, there is a skill system in the game, which is... I couldn't say it without laughing, but, you know. So what have we got here? Clean a big house. Ants home needs redecorated, house to refresh, or a bunker. I bought a house with a hidden post-war bunker. The previous owner didn't appreciate what he had and made it a storage room. We care about safety and the weather in this part of the country gives us some concern. We've renovated the house, but as for the bunker, we want to have it done by a professional. Can we count on you equipping it appropriately? If there's any or something even worse were to hit, well, like a flood, we would want to have a safe place where we could stay for several weeks until it's safe again. The only thing is, that is technically DLC, even if it is free DLC, so I don't think I want to do a bunker one. Let's, uh, a big house to clean, let's read about this from Jack Rubens. After the death of my beloved wife, I sold our house, as it brings back so many memories that I cannot cope with. A lot of these are written really weirdly, and I don't know if that's just because of the developer, where they're from, or it's meant to just imply that 
older folks tend to not write emails very well. Anyway, I've decided to buy a new house and it requires some work. It needs cleaning and new radiators. There's too much work for me and I don't have the strength. I'd like to move out of my old house as soon as possible as it's too painful to live here. My two daughters will be living with me. I would like their rooms to be painted their favourite colour, bright blue. Please try to arrange everything quickly. This sounds doable. Yeah, we'll accept this job. And this is what their house looks like. It looks like a tip. So uh, you might have seen during that loading screen, it was like some random family saying two bedrooms aren't enough. And I was seeing a lot of those related things in the loading screens at first. And I was like, what are they talking about? What does that have to do with the job I just took on? What it has to do with is you learn about the buyer profiles of the various people who can potentially buy the houses that you flip. And as you sell more houses, you start learning about their wants and needs. So you can kind of try and cater a house you're doing up to them. And the reason, well, the only reason I can think of that you want to do that is there's an achievement related to selling a house to each of the individual people. Now, sadly, both the houses I've made sold to the same young couple. I was trying really hard on my second flip to get it to the single guy who's a swinger, but he just didn't bid high enough. I, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but you can kind of look into what they liked and didn't like. It adds over orders though because my last house I did up only had one bedroom and it still has the negative here that he doesn't want two bedrooms. So yeah, it's it's a conglomeration of everything they've said about any house I've tried to sell them. But anyway, that doesn't matter for this because we're here to do a job. There's a lot of stuff to do here. But we can get a lot of it done relatively quickly. First things first, we can just pick up trash with our hands. So I'm just going to go around, clean up some trash. There's a lot of dirt on the floor. What is that? Some more dirt. The layout of this house is a little strange. I've seen this type of room before in a previous house, mind you. So we just do that, do that. You can see my progress for each individual room. So the home library is 100% done. The living room is 100% done in terms of removing trash. Is this the house here, or room here rather? Yes, it is. This can be one of the bedrooms, right? Yeah. Then in here, it's the bathroom. So what do we want done in the bathroom? Clean the windows, remove the trash, mount a device, which will be a radiator, and clean dirt. Okay. Also, apologies, I'm a, a little bit croaky. You know, hay fever, that whole deal, my voice is very sore right now. And my throat is itchy. Oh, that's a fancy looking washing machine you've got there. It must be an American thing that you can put washing machines in your toilets, because we don't do that here. Alright, so we've removed the trash from most of the rooms. This room probably needs the most work. Yeah, this is one of the bedrooms, weirdly. Okay. Let's start with this then. Clean the windows. Simple enough. And this is where, like, there's a lot of tasks to do and they're all the same, but they're just relaxing. And I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse, but just me playing this on stream drew in more attention than me playing quote-unquote actual games has for quite some time. And people were into it. People wanted to buy it for themselves. And I understand. I I don't think it's ironic purchases. I think it is like genuine interest. I'm just going to quickly assemble. This is usually a lot slower, but I've massively increased my skill for mounting equipment because you end up doing a lot of this. Can I have a look at the skills real quick? Or sorry, the perks. Number of categories you get upgrade points to spend in each tree, if you want to think of them like that, based on what you, like I've got to sell one more house to get a point here. And then I've got to do 500 elements cleaned, etc, etc. You do all these things to get more skill points to spend in the various things. I've mostly done painting, as you can see. So I've almost maxed that out. I've done a lot of building as well. And then there's just kind of like general handiwork, which is also very close to maxing out. You can also import pictures if you want from your PC to be used as paintings in the game if you prefer. But this is very much like... Oh, hang on. First of all, let's uh, just paint the room sleepy blue while I'm talking. Sleepy. There we go. My painting skill is massive. Just you wait. What was I saying? It's just, it's one of those games... I keep on comparing it to Euro Truck Simulator because for me it's the same thing where... I just kind of like... having a game where the things you're supposed to do are very clearly set out and you can just set to them. Would I want to be painting rooms all day, every day in real life? Hell no, I had to paint this house when I bought it. Late last year. And painting for realsies on a room scale sucks but in this game you know it's satisfying just like I wouldn't want to drive a big rig truck around Europe or America but those games I like doing it and there is a market for this but I don't think it's a, a direct comparison in terms of like 
People who like Euro Truck Simulator might also kind of be into Farming Simulator or Bus Simulator, you know, all those simulator games. I think there's a little bit more depth to this, a little bit more focus. That might not be fair to say, but that's the way it comes across to me. So I don't think it's a direct comparison to those simulator games. I feel like there's a bit more effort put in here to have a bit more substance, if you like. But it's still, obviously, a very acquired taste. <laughs> Although, I must say, it was such great fun having chat. You know, normally I'm very against backseating, but having chat backseating my interior decorating plans when I bought a house to flip it. And then kind of deliberately aggravating them by missing squares when I was painting and stuff like that. It was a wonderful experience. It's a nice, calming, OCD triggering experience for all of us, and it was wonderful. Alright, so we've finished our painting here. Uh, oh, no we haven't. I always forget about the top parts of the windows. So normally that would have taken a lot longer, but I've done enough painting now that it's pretty quick. So we'll just sell the paint we didn't use. So I've got to place objects now. Bed solid. Snake. Bed. Oh. Bed. So okay, that's the one you want. Can we do it in blue? Like purple, maybe? Light yellow. This is not going to match this room at all. But you can't stop me. Let's put it... Um, we need to place four more things after this, so... Uh, let's like put it there for now. Next you want a computer desk. Okay, fair enough. Computer desk. Let's do that in... Wood cherry? Sure. They'll probably want a chair as well. It's not a good idea having a radiator so close to a desk. My old house was like that. But I'm still going to do it. Office chair. It's very, very similar to my chair. Uh, let's do cream. Don't like the look of that at all, but I've done it now. Wardrobe Charles. Wardrobe Charles. And let's also do that in wood cherry. Hmm, let's see. Where can I put this safely? There's one last thing to go up after this. Hopefully it's not anything too big. I'm just going to bung that there. A chest of drawers, Mal. Oh, no, 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 no. I accidentally pressed the wrong button there. I tried to cancel the job. Chest of drawers, Mal. Oh, well, I didn't get it in wood cherry, but you know what? It's fine. That's what I was talking about with the OCD triggering of viewers. So this room is basically done. Obviously, it could have been laid out a little bit better, but it's done. We can now forget about that. This hallway entirely done. The kitchen only really needed yeah, clean the window and clean the dirt. So it's just I've got a super m brop brop broom. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to say mop or broom because it does both, and I believe it's called Super Broom 2018. This particular model I'm using right now. And we'll just clean the window, and that's the kitchen done, nice and quick. So that's done. That'll be a little bit of a while doing that, and that's the other bedroom probably. So that'll be a while. What is this room in here? No, that's the other bedroom. Okay, well, the bathroom we can do quickly enough. It just needs some stuff cleaned. So there we go. It's cleaned. Clean the window and then mount a, a hanging radiator, I think. Towel radiator, that's the one. Mountable towel radiator. So we go, and then we'll just quickly assemble this again, going much faster thanks to leveling up the skill. There's something, it's just, it's oddly compelling. That's what the game is, if it can't even be called a game. It's just oddly compelling to watch and play. Just, I don't really want to stop. I've been putting off recording this look at specifically so I could just play it some more. And then I was like, I kind of feel like playing it again on stream, so I'm just gonna, and as I say, it was more popular than most of the other games I'm streaming at the moment. Which is just... It's some kind of shared psychosis. I don't understand it. Alright, this is clear. We need another towel radiator. So we can just do this real quick. And that's this bathroom done. Double bathroom in a single story house is a little weird. At least for here. Well, I guess it does have three bedrooms, doesn't it? We would expect it to be like less wide and taller instead. I have a feeling most of the houses in the game are single story but big because once there's a lot of stuff in a house the game can lag a little bit. I have noticed that especially when it turns to evening and you turn on all the lights 
the lighting seems to cause extra lag for some reason and the shadows often act weird on stuff as well so from a visual perspective it's definitely not perfect i don't know what i'm cleaning up but apparently i'm cleaning up stuff here all right so what else needed done here clean the window and then mount a radiator that's quick okay we can get this room knocked out the biggest deal is going to be the other bedrooms so we need a normal radiator could probably have fit a big one there but they didn't specify so you're getting the cheap one anything i need to spend cuts into my profit margins which by the way are in the top right how much i'm getting paid for the job once you get to that line which is the minimum progress you can just say right i'm done and take a, a lesser reward for doing it most of the time though you might as well just finish the job as i say the jobs i didn't do 100 percent were because i hadn't upgraded my skills enough to see all sources of dirt and i just could not be bothered like running around with the broom everywhere thankfully i've got the skill now where it's always shown on the, the map all right so i do need to do some moving here because this chair is in the way of where we're going to mount a radiator Hmm, put it over like there. Let me quickly assemble this. You've got to change plugs as well, set up showers and all that good stuff. Not super involved, it's mostly just left clicking. And I want to put the couch back where it was. I don't want to wait and let him do it so he can actually get off his ass and do something. I don't know. Would it annoy you all if I left the chair right there? Would it annoy you when you see that chair in the wrong place? I think I'm just going to leave that there. And I believe that's the end of that room. So this is the other kind of... This is the other kid's bedroom. So what is this room over here? What do you want done in here? He, he wants us just to do up his room as well, I guess. Was that part of the deal? I don't remember if that was part of the deal. We've already earned five grand, so that's not too bad. I guess we can do this. I would like to try and do one quest before we finish here. But honestly, I've kind of run out of things to say other than I enjoy house slippers. I'm not being sarcastic. I unironically enjoy the game. I think it's very fun. The pricing, I think, is fair-ish. It's 15 49 in British pounds. And as I say, I've already played it for seven hours. And honestly, even after I finish this video, I'm still probably going to play it. We've actually got like a, a little bet on with my stream. Anyone else who buys it and does up the same house as me, we want to see who can make the most profit off of it. So we want grey and royal blue. So I guess I'll change the purple to royal blue and the white to grey because that's a massive difference. So we'll start with grey. Just bog standard. Is it the American spelling or the British spelling? Huh. Okay. Is it much different? Let's see. Eh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> he wants it this colour, he's getting it this colour. Now, when it's stipulating, like, this colour plus this colour, the amount you do of each colour is up to you as long as all the walls are painted. At least one of the colours. So, if I wanted to do three of these walls, grey, and then just the one, whatever other colour it was, royal blue, you can, and it'll count towards completion. It's... To a certain extent, you are just kind of allowed to go with whatever you feel looks best. I don't have an eye for that, so I mostly just do things to annoy Twitch chat. But, we'll try and get through this painting as quickly as possible. Gotta be a bit more careful with space in here, because the double beds and... Oh, don't accidentally paint that. There we are. I've done that once before. Accidentally painted a square from the outside of the house. Also, got to be careful with these because there's a second layer out there. And it's easy to forget that. So you might be sitting on like 99% painted and being like, no, I've painted everything. What's up? Those outside bits, they just... They need painted as well to count towards progression. All right, so that's all the grey done. So now we need royal blue. Let's just sell that. Royal blue. There we go. Hopefully one is enough. I swear that price of paint has gone up. Unless that paint in particular is just more expensive now I'm just going with this theme of like changing the purple to blue and the white to grey because it kind of fits depending on what furniture he wants in it might have looked better a different way you don't have to do it in the order I'm doing it in you can put the furniture in first it just kind of makes it awkward to get the paint where it needs to be this is so much quicker than when I first started I, I can't overstate that enough. You are so slow at this when you first start painting. 
You can actually get another upgrade to do four panels at once, which I've not got yet. So that should be 100% painted. Yep. All right. Wait, no. No, it's not. Where did I forget? 94%. I've forgotten something. Aye. Dun, dun, dun. That's the other thing that can have happened. If you've not placed a full coating on something, it might be slightly paler. I probably forgot one of the outside parts. That looks like it's not fully done. Actually, that's not done. That's what it was. I need grey. Case in point. It's going to be this right here. Yep, 100%. Nope, 98%. Here. There we are. 100%. You sell things at a loss after you buy them, so it was a bad thing doing that. So it's double Hermes bed or something. It was double, oops, double Herm. Sure, that's fine. Uh, let's see, you probably want it next to the radiator to get a little bit of warmth, right? So we kind of put it there. Then you want wardrobe Vera. Oh, I did it again. You press tab to bring up that first, then wardrobe Vera. Silver wardrobe. Hmm, we'd be blocking plugs there. I'm sure that would annoy some people. Not me though. Double chest of drawers, my. Double, double chest of drawers, Mel. Put it like there, and then bookcase limb. It's pretty tall. Wants to show off that he's well read. So that's his done, his room done rather. Three out of eight tasks. There's more to be done. Oh wait, no, now it's saying five out of ten. That makes more sense. So here. This should be simple enough. We'll get it done. What's this bookcase doing here? Still a bit of dirt somewhere here. Oh, on the floor. Got it. Let's quickly mount a radiator. Super quick. It's me in fast mode now. As fast as I can go. Alright, done that. Clean the window. Window cleaned. Other window. Clean your own damn windows. Done. And then sleepy blue. I wonder if one tin will be enough for a room this size. I guess we're going to find out. They didn't tell me to remove this bookshelf, and you can't sell things that you aren't told to sell. I tried. Your character has morals. What a loser. So I'll leave it for now unless the instructions say otherwise. This is the other daughter's bedroom. Yeah, I got a few levels in, like, paint efficiency as well. I don't use paint if it's already fully painted. It's like... Just 30% more efficient overall. These are very boring things. It, it's fair to say this game is boring. But boring isn't always bad. Like when I was playing this on stream again, I was just... When I played it in my off time as well, I played it on my, my day off. From streaming, that is. I just listen to music. The in-game music... Actually, has it happened? No, it's still there. It has a habit of just kind of randomly stopping eventually. I think you fix it by zoning away and going back. And you can only really do that, though, if it's a house you own. Because if it's a job, it counts you as, like, backing out of the job. So having your own music handy is helpful. Yeah, one should be enough now. Usually, like, when you first started, this would have been a three can, for sure. Saving the window bit till last, because that's the most tedious bit, getting around the window edges. Although, before I forget this time, let's do these parts. Because they are the easiest to forget. In fact, did I do them on here and here? Yes, I did. That's, nope, forgot this part again. Done. 
So we need bed solid. This is going to be the exact same stuff in the other kid's bedroom. So I've already got a white bookshelf, so this will do. I feel like she could do better than a bed that looked like this, but, you know. If anything is abundantly clear, it's that I don't know about interior design. It almost is. In fact, it, it probably is going to be exactly the same. She gets the proper classic black chair, though. Wardrobe Charles, yep. Pretty much the same setup. And the chest of drawers now. We should be done. Job 100% done. We got 9.5k for doing the whole job. A bunch of XP towards new skill points. And a bunch more money to use towards investing in a home and then kicking the home out to sell it at a profit. That is the gameplay loop of House Flippers. House Flippers, sorry, not plural. I recommend it, honestly. I, I like it. And I definitely know it's one of those things not for everybody. Oh, we got a level. A negotiation level. Minus 5% of the order requirements. Sure? I'm not sure what that means. That means less to do. I'm actually not okay with that. I don't mind having all the objectives. Oh, it lowers the minimum requirement. Right, right, right. So you can quit a job earlier if you wanted to. Yeah, that's House Flipper. Check it out at the Steam Store page. I will link below. I think it's reasonably priced. If it was a £10 price range, I would have been like, yeah, just get it. 15.49. Stop for a second and think. But honestly, it's just a nice game to, to veg out to play some music in the background turn over some houses for a profit do some weird contracts some of them are very strange check it out if you're interested thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time but for now